And that's recording. Four, five. Cool. So you're gonna make my head smaller. <laughs> you know you can make it bigger. bigger. And, you just... and just you by mm -hmm. just by audio cues we can get this going. So if I just go and I can edit it that way all together. Okay. Uh, Hi, Tim McCoy. Welcome, podcasts. We got some wait, friends wait, with us. Are you there, or are, are, are you there? I'm here. Well, uh, you, you're there. I'm here. So where I, do you want us to talk to you? I look there? at you there, and or talk you, to you there. Yeah, you can you can turn your heads and look at me, or you can look at that, or you can look at here. You can look at that lady over there. I'd rather do that. Oh yeah, yeah. So let's, let's watch her. Okay. <laughs> do you think she's got any questions for us? Yeah. I'm with Phil Proctor. <laughs> And uh, Jimmy Alcroft, staring at her. <laughs> Phil Proctor from the Fireside Theater, and Jimmy Alcroft from the uh, Mac and Jamie Comedy Duo. I, I'd wave, but, but yeah. Uh, what are you, just... are you expecting? Rain today, Jamie? Yeah, I just got Martinized. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I got this T-shirt dry clean, and they gave me a free bag. Well, you know, you're supposed to take the bag off. I figured I'd wear it for your protection, <laughs> or for my protection, <laughs> or for their protection. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. I slip into a couple condoms every morning just for the hell of it. I keep mine in the freezer too. You're you? the sperm in my coffee. You're the cop in my tea. Hey. There we go. Okay. No <laughs> more props. Okay. Hey. It's just us. Boomers on a bench. Sure. These two guys have a wonderful yeah. series right now on really on like the YouTubes or the InnerTubes or the on, 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 the, on the Your Face. On the Your Face. In the your, your Face thing. The Face Plant. Let's see. It would be YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. It'd be uh, You Twit Face. Yes. Face that's that's right. <laughs> face Twat. And uh, we're going to talk about that in some history uh, with a gentleman here. Uh, so let's talk about, first of all, let's get started with Boomers on a Bench. Okay. Who came up with the idea and what's it all about? Uh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you blame him. You know, Matt, um, it's all his fault. <laughs> they asked Mac and I to do news in an ABC uh, late night show that was hosted by Chris Lemon years ago. And I said, I don't want to just sit behind a desk and do news. Right. I want to do something different. So I came up with this conceit of reading out of the newspaper to each other. And it was a big hit, but the show flopped. And I thought, I'm going to use that again someday. Mm -hmm. And Phil and I were talking one night, and I said, how's your life? He said, I love my family, I love my wife, everything's great. I'm not real happy with my hair, but but who is at this no, age? No. Who is? No. Hello. And hey, either too much or too little. <laughs> I'm actually I'm happy with what, what hair I've got. Bergman going on it's, here. Well, the that, hair goes oh, away in one do. place, yeah. it comes Ooh. out in another. Yeah, you know? the ears. Yeah, the yeah. nose, it's terrible. Somebody thought I was growing aloe plants out of my ears the other day. They started watering my ears. Yeah, I was harvesting out of my nose last night. <laughs> so anyway, um, I said to Phil, I said, well, you know, there's this whole thing that Mag and I used to do. Let's give it a try. And we renamed it Boomers on a bench. And uh, we sit on a park bench, read out of the newspaper to each other, and we have fun. We tell old jokes. We make fun of each other. Yeah. We start um, fires. Yeah, yes, obviously. Course. Obviously, we the create. The show is hot, kids. It's a hot show. It's, it's burning up the tube. Emergency LA. I got to say this now. Tim, I know that you've got uh, a, a viewership of about 12 million people, yeah, give or take a few. Roughly, yeah. Okay. Uh, if even half of you people out there were curious enough to go and take a look at Boomers at a Bench, we would be extremely happy. And so would Allison, who's bringing us. Allison's here. There you go. Allison. Oh, yeah. that's good. Just perfectly. Here. It's my sandwich. Would you like any condiments, hot sauce, ketchup? Ketchup, hot sauce, uh, mayonnaise. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want mayonnaise? Yeah, please. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back. That's very Dutch of you. For a sandwich. Thank you. For a sandwich. I'm going to get fried. Mayonnaise for my fries. <laughs> for my fleet. Mmm. Oh, look at how big your head gets. Look at, mm. see how small my head is? I look like I could be living on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could be. Hey! Okay, now you go back. See, same thing, it's physics. Isn't I'm losing amazing? weight. I'm eating fries and losing weight. This is amazing. Time. Well, that's a lustra. That's that stuff that oozes, you know. All right, so where were we? I'm on that low bench. fiber, high mucus diet. It's yeah, working uh, out great. Boomers on a bench, or, right, so listen, or Bob. So listen, uh, uh, on the Mac and Jamie show, which was called what, yeah. Comedy Crap. What was it called? Like a Comedy Crap. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. Comedy Break. Comedy yeah. Break. All right, which was on for two years, national show. Yeah, 125 episodes. 125 episodes. Wow. And they did them all in one in week. In one week. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, with six writers. No way. How did they take so timely, too? You know, I don't know. What yeah, Viacom, or the yeah. Viacomese, as we refer to the them. The Viacomese. They, they prefer, they, they were half-hour shows? Uh, yeah, they were half-hour shows, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. they were, were half-hour shows. shows. Half was his. And it was and all sketch comedy. And we, Max. we launched Kevin um, Pollock on that show yeah. as a sketch Would you comic. Break a bottle of champagne over. And we launched uh, Jan Hooks, uh, dearly departed oh, Jan yeah. Hooks, on that show. 
and Matt Roswell was on, and all kinds of talented people. Yeah, so and it was great. Uh, uh, but in any event, they did this right. routine. Oh, you had a point. Show. Yes, I had a point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you. They did this routine on the show. And uh, it's great because it allows you to write fresh material, right. stick it in the newspaper, so at least you got your little cheat. So you're there. reading out of the newspaper. Reading out of the newspaper, and you're reading stuff that you've written yourself. Yeah. And then we can improvise off of that. Mayonnaise. And have fun. Ah, oh, thank my you. shot of mayonnaise. Good mayonnaise. Thank you. Good mayonnaise. Thank you very much. Cheers. I didn't got to touch my stuff. Cheers. Looking at you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you really, you turn. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. That's good. That'll, that'll get your mucus, that protective mucus. Shot of mayo. Yeah. yeah. Now everything will taste like mayonnaise. Well, everything I eat for the next three days. <laughs> so I, I, of course, had lost my partner, Peter Bergen. Because right. we, Mac and Jamie and Proctor and Bergen had met on the road many, many years, many years ago. And uh, uh, fighting over a piece of, of dead <laughs> a possum. A waitress. Was. No, 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 it was a waitress. That was another, that was another tour. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the Vegas tour, okay? <laughs> what stays in Vegas is buried in Vegas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so let's forget all that. But in any event, we had, we had a mutual admiration society going on. Thought they were very, very funny, and we thought, and we thought, were, thought that we were very, very funny. Very too. funny. Yeah. That's what's important. <laughs> so when when Peter passed away from leukemia, uh, you know, it's like God closes one door and then he slams another one in your face. <laughs> in this or he case, opens a window. Or it's or not big a window. Yeah, through. you fall yeah. out of it. You know. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I was I was it's languishing. It's on the seventh story. <laughs> yeah. I was languishing because I knew Fireside wasn't going to perform anymore. Yeah. And yeah. and I certainly wasn't going to be able to continue to to uh, do radio stuff and online stuff with Peter because right. he was tremendously prolific. He had resuscitated Radio Free Oz as a, 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 a podcast and was cranking stuff out like crazy. So t Such a brilliant genius. But uh, it, he was smart in every way but taking care of himself. Yeah. Mm. You know? Mm. Uh, so I was, I was languishing Excuse me, I'm going to take this down. Woman break here. And, and, and Mac, <laughs> Mac moved. Well, I'll inter interject here. Yes. And Mac moved. Oh, uh, you just did, too. I did. Yeah. And I, oh, my oh God, my what a mess. Wait, 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 I call myself the week before disguised my voice. With me, myself, and I. Send some flowers. I don't sign the card. Yeah. It's a very exciting. Now we'll line. see how old you are. What were you talking about? Okay. Well, what I was talking about uh -huh. was the fact that um, Mac and I had uh, done this on the show, uh -huh. and that he moved to Louisville, and I didn't have a partner, and. Phil didn't have a partner, and we really both had this Jones to perform again. Mm -hmm. And no so doubt. I started doing simple stuff at a comedy club locally, and I, it was fun, but it just didn't have the same banter and yeah. interaction. There's something about working with another person on stage, especially with someone who's as good at improv as Phil is. Oh, yeah. Because you don't know what's Wait coming next. What am I and supposed to say next? That's what's <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> read, the card here. read the card. So. Improv read the card. means yeah. improve yeah. on the joke that the other guy was trying to make. That well, follow. Okay. That follow. And act impishly. Ah, I see. Okay. okay. Anyway, so we put this together. We've got 20 of them on YouTube and Facebook and and v Vimeo and or Vimo and uh, Tumblr, and we're just trying to get a following. We're trying to get some people to. To watch us and uh, you. let us know, uh, let you like them it? know about us. And um, yeah, do you remember? Do you remember that thing in Vegas? That woman you met at the bar. You know which one? He met, he met this woman at a bar in Vegas. Very. Was impressive. it really a woman? Oh, the, and, oh, you know, I know you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah, she was and, a knockout. Oh my God! And he said, "Can I buy you a drink?" She said, "Sure, yeah. you can buy me a drink." This was on the road. I was single. You know. He said, um, uh, "She said, is there something else you got interested in?" And he said, "Well." I, wouldn't mind a hand job. And oh. she said, well, you know, I charge $1,000 for a hand job. I said, $1,000? That's crazy. She said, yeah, you see that building across the street? Yeah. That five-story building? I built that with $500. No kidding. I said, that's $1,000 hand job. Your kids go so, to bed. So then, yeah, the kids go to bed now. <laughs> and then uh, he said, well, what about a blow job? And she said, oh, well, that's $5,000. I said, no, that's crazy. That's crazy money. I said, it's nuts. See the 21 story building across the street? I did. I, I looked over. I saw it. $5,000 yeah. blow job. I built that. Unbelievable. And he said, well, I, 
I hate to even ask this, but what about pussy? And she said, honey, if I had a pussy, I'd own this town. <laughs> yeah, it was a very disappointing <laughs> evening. I gotta yeah, Tim you. saw that coming. Yeah. I think he <laughs> was in, so he in Vegas, too. <laughs> he been in Vegas before. No, but anyway, we don't do that kind of material no, we don't. on our show. Not on Boomers on a Bench. No, we're no, very no, no. clean. We're very um, There's double user-friendly. Um, we're not... Uh, I think we're apolitical you do right now. We're stuff. apolitical, we're apolitical. and we're B controversial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the way we like to you're, stay. You're topical. You talk about things going on right now. We're PC. And, and I've noticed in, in the show that you will find common. the most stupid thing going on. Yes. Which is so it's easy. easy. Yeah. It's so easy. They're all over the place, and nobody's talking about them. You know, but, uh, Jamie yeah. uh, uh, will, uh, subscribes to uh, uh, USA, on, Today. USA Today uh, online. Might as well say it. Yeah, it say it. USA Today. Plug. Uh, I, actually, you saw USA yesterday because you probably didn't get online today because you were coming here. But anyway, and he'll pull out stuff, so to speak, uh, that that he thinks is you know crazy or good funny fodder. Or yeah, from all over the all over the, the United so States. So I send it to Phil. He takes a look at it, and then we get together, we parse it down, and we jam. And I tell you, man, I've never had more fun writing with somebody in my life than uh, yeah, me than too. Phil. It's just now, really easy. Now some. Uh, let me know if it's a secret or not, and then if it is a secret, you don't have to mention it. But you you work with newspapers, and I notice it's the Fair same enough. newspaper all the time. No, it's not. It's no, different like newspapers. Changes oh, yeah. every now, week. is all this memorized, or is it in the paper? It's, it's I'll tell you We're what. We're reading the news. Of course it's in the paper. <laughs> it's in the paper. It's in the paper. We're yeah. reading the news. No. It, it, it's, it's there. The secret, the secret, I said the secret earlier. We, we write it. Uh, my, my wife, Melinda Peterson, who directs us, she chops the crap out of it, and then... <laughs> <laughs> and then we we uh, we mark the the scripts it's very humble. stuck in the paper. Oh, I okay. See. okay. But then, because we're both very fast studies, we kind of you know capture it, learn and do it, and we do each one of them maybe two or three times. Yeah, I mean, we talk about satisfied. we talk about my heart condition. We talk about his cataracts. <laughs> we talk about stuff that affects boomers that you know we never thought we'd have to deal with this stuff, and and now all of a sudden we're dealing with this aging yeah. process, and yeah. and I think there's a lot of other people out there, um, and we just want to get to them before they die. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When you're, just not, when you're boom, playing boom, to an boom. audience like we are, same with the fire sign. Yeah, here. you got to be fast. You got to you know as long as you your fan base is alive, you gotta take <laughs> advantage of it. Yeah.